video, I'm going to have a look at shoulder shimmies. In particular, soft, relaxed shoulder shimmies. Far too often I see dancers and they have a very tight, a very forced shimmy. Kind of reminds me of somebody putting their finger in a PowerPoint and getting electrocuted. Today I'd like to break down the shoulder shimmy and follow that with an intermediate or advanced level drill. If you already know how to do a shoulder shimmy, perhaps you'd like to fast forward to the drill section now. Let's begin. Before I break down the movement, I'd like to talk for a little bit about music and counting. Music is why we dance after all, and it is very important, so we do need to consider it, especially with the shimmy. The speed at which we do the shimmy is dependent on the tempo or the speed of the music. So it's very important that you can listen to music, hear the downbeat, and be able to count the timing of the music. Most of the music which we use has four beats to the bar. That means that in one measure of the music, we're going to count one, two, three, four. The one is the downbeat. Now for every beat of that bar, we do four movements for our shimmy. Now, depending on how much you know about music and how comfortable you are, perhaps you can choose a different method of counting for your shimmy speed. If you know about drumming and you know about percussion, you might already be familiar with how to count sixteenth notes. And perhaps you would say one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. For those of you who aren't familiar with that terminology, you can just count one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. If you want to highlight the downbeat, you can go further and go one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four. So whatever works best for you, find it and use it. I'm going to presume that you already know the correct posture for belly dance. If you don't, please ask your regular teacher. Let's prepare. Now, to do the shoulder shimmy, we're going to imagine that our shoulders are in one line, that they're joined together. It might be helpful for you to think about a metal pole or a rod running from one shoulder all the way through to the other shoulder. If it's made of metal, then we can't bend it. You don't want to be pushing one shoulder forward and back and then doing the other one. Okay, remember, these are all joined together, so if one shoulder is coming forward, the other one must go back. So essentially what we're doing is twisting the upper body. One shoulder forward, the other one forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You want to keep your hands and your arms fairly stationary without them moving. So if you're practicing in front of a mirror, check. Make sure that your arms aren't moving. Let's get a little faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Keep going. Make sure that the movements are very even. And faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You don't need to go really fast. It's more important to have an even rhythm. Let's get faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now, hopefully, you have a nice, soft, relaxed shoulder shimmy. Now that we know how to do our shoulder shimmy, let's try a drill. Open up your arms. One, two, three, four. One, two, faster. Faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more difficult now and involve some layering. 
So for those of you who are very new to belly dance and you haven't really learned that much yet, you probably just want to keep practicing your shimmy and try to get an even movement. For those of you who already know how to do shoulder shimmy and you can do other movements as well, we're going to try combining them now. Let's start with a chest circle. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And the other way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's try a vertical circle. So this would be the start of our camel. And let's go the other way. Let's try moving our arms. Left up. And right up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, first three in. One, 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 one. And of course, this one looks really nice for the level change. Let's take it back so you can see that. Now and down. Five, six, seven, up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, up. And to the side. And hold. Other side. Point. Again. Point. Shoulder shape. Okay, so that's why counting is really important. When you... Oh my god. And finally, we'll do a short drill. For those of you who are already... Ooh, that's so good. Stupid line. 